Greetings. This is your girl, Minister Asia, and I just, as you can see, I have my prayer cloak today. And I just came on the platform today just to saturate you guys for a little while. I feel something charging in the atmosphere. And sometimes we can't just go with the regularly scheduled programming. We have to go into the depths of God, just like um, a deer that panted after the water source. Our soul cries after God and it comes a point in time in our life as ambassadors for Christ that we have to fight for the things that we long to have and we long to possess in our life. We have to fight for our family, our friends, our nations, and we can't just sit back and let the enemy come in because the Bible says in Isaiah 59, 19, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the spirit of God will raise up a standard. And I feel so heavy in the realm of the spirit that it's time to raise up a standard. I didn't tell you guys the other day, and let's go ahead and say our mantra before I get too far on in this video. Um, for I know who I am and whom that I stand, whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ, and this is the hour to recognize me. The other day before I released the video, it's time to be taught. That night I had a dream, and in the dream, I, this is a reoccurring dream for me. And in the dream, I was in school, and in like middle school, and I had forgotten my schedule. I didn't know what classes out where my classes were located. I just was in disarray. And so because I didn't know my schedule, I stopped going to school. I just started skipping class. Now, this is not something that happened in my real life when I was in middle school. This is what has been a reoccurring dream for me, forgetting the schedule, not knowing. And But this time, the dream went on. And at the end of the dream, instead of me just um, like in the previous dreams I've had that I've recorded or made mental notes of them or in my prayer journal or something, I would dream the dream. I would be in school, whether it be um, middle, middle school or whatever. I may forget my schedule. I start skipping school. Then I just get all off track and forget. And then I wake up. But the other night when I had the dream, I went to the teacher and I began to tell her, I think I'm in your first period class and I don't know what my schedule is. I don't know where I am supposed to go. And I've missed all these days of, of school. What can I do? And she began to look me up in the computer system and she began to um, find out what my schedule was. She's, she said, yes, you were in my, my um, class and you just came one day if you would miss one more day, then you would not be able to excel or go to the next grade. Some other teachers that you have on this schedule, they will not have mercy on you, one of which I know for sure. But what I can do for you is I can put you in my seventh period class as well to give you an extra credit just in case that teacher does not cooperate with you you will have everything that you need to go to the next level. And when I talked to you guys the other day, I forgot to tell that dream and that testimony, but the Spirit of the Living God is saying, it's time. Some of you have forgotten your prayer schedules. You have forgotten the prophecies and the promises that God has outlined for you. There is a course that God has signed you up for in the realm of the spirit, but because you forgot your schedule, you have yet to show up for that class. You're one day away from missing the mark. So I challenge you ambassadors today, go to the teacher, which is the Holy Spirit, and ask the Holy Ghost to reveal to you what your schedule is. We must be just as the sons of Issachar, able to discern the times, we must know what God is saying to the church. The Bible says several times throughout the word, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church, what the spirit of God is saying to the church. And in order to have a, a ear to hear, you have to get rooted and grounded in the word. The Bible depicts that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We're missing out on our studying time. We go to church. 
we hear those scriptures on Sunday, maybe the scriptures given on Wednesday, but when are we studying to show ourselves approval? When are we taking time out to look at the issues that we see arising in our children's lives, the issues that we see arising in our family members' lives, the issues that we see arising in our government, in our state, in our nation, and we go into the Word of God and we pick a specific scripture to saturate that situation when are we putting on our prayer clothes and saturating our platforms and saturating our houses and saturating our automobiles and saturating our offices and saturating the stadiums that our children play in and the places and the arenas that god has set for us it's a time right now like never before that the intercessors need to know their watches get in position and arise so that God can demonstrate his power through us. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. It's time for us to do like Timothy and stir up the gift on the inside of us and come back. Come back, O oh intercessors. Come back to the wall. It's time to watch. It's time to to negotiate it's time to make the king aware just like with jehu and second kings when the watchman saw the enemy's company coming in he went to jehu he was able to say you know they come in peace the king told him to tell him we come in peace and then when they didn't want to he was able to go back and negotiate with the king because he was in his position he was watching and so today i came on the platform so that we can worship so that we can pray so that we can get in our position so that i can charge and challenge you guys so if you will i know i'm getting all riled up but i want you to wherever you are if you're in your office and you're working and you're typing on the computer right now if you're sitting in your car and you're on your lunch break if you are sitting at home and it's late at night i want you to just Take a moment to quiet your soul. I'm going to play Lindell Cooley's song, Arise, O Lord. And we're going to worship and we're going to pray because it's a time right now that the spirit on the inside of you has to arise. God has to arise in you so that his power can be demonstrated throughout this earth so that the chains in the spiritual realm can be broken, so that yokes can be destroyed, so that the captives can be set free. They're waiting on you, intercessor. They're waiting on you, intercessor, not someone else. They are divinely assigned to you ambassador divine means of like and from god this assignment is of god it's just like him we're supposed to represent him in this earth realm as an ambassador and this assignment came from him so we need to make sure that we're sensitive in the realm of the spirit that we can hear what the spirit is saying to the church he's not going to be like a megaphone yelling it at us it's going to be a sweet small whisper and we have to make sure that we've inclined our ear to hear what the spirit is saying to the church so we're getting ready to worship to lindell cooley's song arise it was made popular by Juanita bynum as well but this is the original version come on and raise your hands and worship god we exalt you, O oh God. Ye a mayere bo se ga. E si a nanana ma shie ga. Ye a nanana bo so to yuro no bo si ga. Hey God, ye a nanana ma sa ye ga. Arise in us, O oh God. Ye a nanana ma si O oh God. Yes, God. Hear us now, Lord, have mercy. Yes, God. My God, I worship you. Hear us now. For revival, yes, Lord, my God, I worship you, Jesus. Your power, break our chains, set us free. Yes, God, and then in a machine, God, yea, God, let us feel your joy again, set us free. Come here, 
come heal us, O oh God. Arise, O oh Lord. Demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your Power. Hear us, O oh Lord. Hear our cry, Lord God. Hear us right now, God. Lord, have mercy on us, Jesus. Hear our prayer, O oh God. Hear our cry, God. Hear us now, Lord, have mercy. Yes, God. Hear our prayer, hear our cry for revival. Release your power, God. Release your power. Break our chains. Set us free. Let us feel, God. Let us feel your joy again set us free yes god come heal us. here we go come on singing in your car arise oh lord tell him demonstrate his power demonstrate your power Arise, oh Lord, demonstrate your power. Yes, God. Power. Lord God, we are intercessors, God. Pull heaven down to earth today, God. We say, Lord, arise in us, O oh God. Demonstrate your power, God, like never before, God. God. In an unprecedented way, God. Remove every burden, God. Destroy every yoke, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord. worship you today God you said let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord and I made a joyful noise to you today God because some people are heavy God but I believe that you're releasing the oil of joy for the garment of praise God and, and you're releasing that breaking that spirit of heaviness everything that you promised us in Isaiah 61 the beauty for our ashes Lord God because you're releasing a fresh anointing our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day God our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is your kingdom the power and the glory is already thine forever father god you said he that believes on me as the scripture has written he who believes as the scripture says out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water john 7 and 37 lord god 38 lord god you said in ephesians 3 and 20 that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us oh god and we come today on this platform the ambassador's hour lord god and we build 
and altar to you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you purge and deliver all that's divinely assigned to us, oh God. We ask that you shake us again, Lord God, that you revive your people, God, that you do a mighty work in them even right now, God. I pray, Lord God, that they cast down every imagination, every stronghold, Lord God, and that thing that exalts itself against the power and the knowledge of you, God, and that they begin to think on things that are pure, things that are holy, things that are a good report, God. I pray the scripture to you today, Lord God, because you looked at the disciples when they could not heal the, the lunatic boy, Lord God, and the gardener's Gethsemane, when they prayed for the boy who had been cutting himself and throwing himself in the fire and they could not deliver them, you said, how long will they suffer him? Bring them hither to you that you may deliver him. You said that they were a wicked and a perverse generation, Lord God. And this season, Lord God, the world is likened to that, God. Our children are dressing and acting and doing everything that is counter God but I Lord God cannot sit back and watch the enemy have his way God there are people pastors apostles evangelists prophets and teacher Lord God who are just like Eli they're sitting there and they're getting fat every week on the word of God and they are failing to judge their sons God but I believe today in the realm of the spirit some people are falling and they are breaking their necks Lord God because you want us to get in alignment God just as Phineas them were having sex with all these strange women they had idol gods they did everything that was counter you in your house God today you removing the cloak off of the sin God today you're bringing judgment to the house of God today you're beginning to call us and ask us how long are you going to stay in that place how long are you going to be asleep you are slumbering sleeping giant church I call you to arise my people are dying where are the intercessors we call you back to a place of prayer today why are your garments dusty why are there cobwebs in your prayer rooms why why haven't your Bibles been open? Why haven't you sought me? Why do your angels have unemployment signs up? Why is there a help wanted needed in the realm of the kingdom? Shall I look for another? That's what the Lord is saying. Shall I look for another, but I come to you today, God. And I answer your spirit, God, and I say, I will go. I will pray. I will be obedient, God. I will use my platform, Jesus, to call souls, Lord God, from the north, south, east, and the west, God, to break the yokes, Lord God upon the people Jesus I will not be a slumbering saint God but I will arise today God I will demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost Lord God the idios and the deutimous power of the Holy Ghost Lord God and the exousia power of the Holy Ghost Lord God and I will take authority Lord God over every demonic and satanic spirit that is trying to plague my family's life you cannot have them my friends and not even my enemy God I take my post today as a watchman Lord God and I say arise Holy Spirit I say arise God to the next generation of my nieces my nephews Lord God all of the children that I have taught in the faith you cannot have them I decree and, de and declare today that I'm saturating the kids Lord God because this is the next generation of lawyers doctors politicians Lord God these are the next generation Lord God who are to govern this world system and if they are so lost and so bound by the music and the culture of this season then we will be lost but God I decree and declare that there has been a seed deposited in them and you said if you train up a child in the way they should go when they're older they won't depart from Lord God there are babies even in this region and other regions that I have saturated with prayer that I have taught them the sevenfold mandate for success and prosperity the gifts of the spirit the fruit of the spirit the seven virtues Lord God they have have been taught and trained Lord God and I pray Lord God that the Holy Spirit touch them even where they are in their dorm rooms in their high schools in their college in their um, lives Lord God in their careers some of them today even took placement tests Lord God and some of them Lord God are still infants in the faith six-year-olds and five-year-olds Lord God and 30-year-olds and 70-year-olds Lord God I know Lord God that my mantle is not for naught, God and I call forth everyone all of Sarah's daughters 
everyone who has divine assigned to the ambassador's hour and I say get in your place arise in the realm of the spirit as I pray on this platform Lord God I believe Lord God that you're charging them God as I charge the atmosphere Jesus you're calling every watchman that ever set in an intercession module you're calling everyone who's ever come to a conference Lord God who's ever watched the video Lord God who's ever encountered me out in the earth realm Lord God at a nail shop Lord God or at a um, the tire place, Lord God, or anywhere who's ever encountered me just mere in, merely in public, just as you did for Peter, I decree that my shadow is healing and changing and retting some things that has been knocked down in the realm of the spirit. I declare woman, man, child, you shall get up from that place. I bind the spirit of depression. I curse it at its root. I bind the spirit of poverty. I curse it at its root. I bind the spirit of lust. I bind the spirit of lasciviousness. I bind the incubus and the succubus spirits right now. And every spirit that's causing chaos and wreaking havoc in our lives, I come against it. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violent take it back by force. You said, Lord, Lord God, that if we ask a thing, it shall be established, Lord God. You said we all we have to do is ask and we shall receive that thing, God. And I ask today that you free my family, God, that you free my friends, God, that you free everyone, Lord God, that is divinely assigned to the ambassadors hour. I know, God, as we fasted, as we prayed, as we cried out, as we've laid on our face, Lord God, all of those things, the tears that we've cried, they were not labored in vain, God. And as I pray this prayer today, God, it's going to charge the atmosphere. Things that have been held up in the atmosphere are going to be released today. Contracts that have been held up is being released today. Those things that we pray for, those things that we've sown for, those things that we believe for, they're being released even right now. Great testimonies will come because of this prayer, God, because you are who you said you were. You will do what you said you would do. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I don't care what, about the opinions of others. No, it's not a little patty cake teaching, but today we come in warfare. Today we come to destroy Satan's kingdom. He has no power. He has no authority. And we take our rightful position today, God. Everything that I may have omitted in the realm of the spirit, I pray that the Holy Spirit makes intercession for it. As Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father and he's making intercession for us, God. Jesus, cover us, God. As we go into the enemy's camp, God, cover us, Lord God. Just as we go in, Lord God, to a higher height, cover our head oh god yanara mo si yanara da bashe god do it jesus yanara mo si yanara da bashe god hey god anara bo so yoro bo si god God is releasing us. He's releasing us to war. He's releasing us. He's releasing us in battle. He's equipped us for such a time as this. We have to go in. We have to go in. We have to fight. We can't be jelly back Christians. We have to have a backbone of iron and a face like flint. The time to be sitting back, pacifying people that are in their mess is over. The Bible wants us, decrees and declares, that we should cry loud and spare not. This means war. I come today to wage war on the enemy. I wage war in the realm of the spirit. God. Everything, God. Every hidden thing, God. I've had emails, God. People who have cancer in their body, Lord God. I bind the spirit of cancer. I curse it at its root. The other day on the Loving People by Sharing Christ page, Minister Renata released a memory that says, Tell me your first miracle, God. And the Lord is giving a response to that post today. And he's saying to the people, you have not seen your last miracle. That's not the last one. The healing power is still in your hand. You still are anointed. You still are called. You still are appointed. God wants you to get on the wall. He has work for us to do. He has souls for us to win. But he's just waiting on you to come. Will you come today? If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, 
inbox the, the Loving People by Sharing Christ support page. We will lead you to Christ on Facebook. Email ambassadorforchrist.as at gmail.com and I will lead you to Christ. Asia P. Searcy, Renata C. McFadden, Heather Wynn, all of us are available to you because you don't have to stay in that place of brokenness. We pray today. We cry out. We travail today. You don't have to stay broken. You don't have to be in a meager place. You don't have to stay in the relationship. God is your source. He is your provider. He's your way out. I don't care how many rejections you've experienced, how many doors have shut in your face. God is still God. He's sitting on the throne. His promises are yea and amen. That means, so let it be. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you cover our worship, that you cover our prayers, God, that you see our tears, God, and you release angels to bring solutions to those prayers and solutions to those tears, God. For every Facebook friend, every Twitter follower, every Instagram follower, everyone who is divinely assigned to us, God. I pray that this prayer shook them, God, that revival did come, that the peace that surpasses all understanding be it unto you today. I know you were looking for a teaching. I know you were looking for something, but God, he's looking for you. Come to him. Come to God. Come now. Come now. Romans 10, 9 through 10. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus died on the cross for you. And God raised him from the dead. And that makes you say, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this prayer. And I believe that you were liberated today. And I want you to go in victory. Today, as we prayed on the ambassador's hour, I pray that courage was released. And that you can go in Holy Ghost boldness and achieve things that you and your natural man never knew were available for you to achieve. I love you and goodbye for now.